Okay guys and girls, um, this is a tutorial on how to make chips ignore my filthy microwave. Um, that's from my liquid pureed pre-op diet and post-op diet and it's nasty. Anyway, um, so the chips that I'm making smell like real potato chips. They taste pretty darn close to real potato chips. This is cottage cheese. You get the small curd cottage cheese. A lot of people say Trader Joe's works. This is Kroger's. It works just fine. I'm using these little tiny amounts. It is cottage cheese mixed with salt. And that's really, you really just are supposed to season that. But I have found that the problem with that is, put it on for a minute. I have found that the problem with that is that it's not thick enough and it turns out way too paper thin, um, which they're thin anyway. This is what they turn out like. If you put too much, you get a big chip like this. Um, but these are a normal size. That's a normal size chip, I think. Um, but the problem with them is that if you, you can see them bubbling up there. If you don't put the protein powder in it, it just turns out way too thin. So I took a scoop of um, unflavored protein, weight, like whey protein powder, and stirred that in with some seeds like salt into the... Um, cottage cheese and it makes pretty much the perfect chip. You can put garlic, pepper, you can put whatever seasonings you want in there um, and they taste just like real potato chips only they're keto. So I was making parmesan chips before but they just they're good and I'll eat them but these are like just like a snack. These are not like I don't think these are and you see that's what they turn out like. Um, let me see if I can peel them without breaking them while I'm on the camera. All you have to do is peel them up like a sticker. You don't, this is just regular parchment paper. You can buy it pre-cut from the store, and that's the chip. Um, but I don't remember what I was saying. But this is just, that's how you do it. It's really, um, they're really good. And these are like, you can't dip with these. They're way too thin. But like if you just feel like something crunchy or crackers or whatever, and you can't have them, this is an amazing alternative, and I, I mean, my daughter loves Lay's potato chips, and she said she'd prefer this over Lay's any day. So, and that's saying a lot for my kid. Um, anyway, but that's it. Thanks. Bye.